I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Blessings of the Lord be upon you and your house. I declare that in Jesus' mighty name. I declare that all is well with you and your house in Jesus' name. Well, blessed Monday, happy Monday, good Monday to each and every one of you, wherever you are under the sound of my voice. This is the day the Lord has made, and we will be glad and continually re rejoicing in it. Amen. <laughs> we'll be glad and rejoice and continually rejoice in it. Listen, I'm going to be very brief with you today, um, and I want you to take your Bibles and uh, notepads with you and um, share the broadcast to be a blessing to somebody, okay? I have a question to you. Why did Jesus say to follow him? Why did Jesus say, follow me? And how many times did Jesus say that? He, he, he always says this. And he, he said it several times. At least about 13 to 23 times, Jesus said, follow me. It's so important for us to understand why Jesus said we have to follow him. Because scripture tells you and I that Jesus is the way, the truth, and life. Jesus is also the light of the world. Jesus is the light of the world. And so he says, follow me. When Jesus says, follow me, he wants to use, he wants to take you and I to the light from darkness. Let me send a shout of blessings to you, uh, Penki Chinario, Pastor Penki in India. All right. Jesus says, follow me. So when Jesus says, follow me, he knows that where he wants to take you and I is the best place to go. Let me send a shout of blessings to you as well. Um, uh, Brother Lewis, Lewis send a shout of blessings to you. All right. Jesus says, follow me. When Jesus says, follow me, he knows why. He says, follow me. Because why? Number one, he's the light of the world. Jesus is the light of the world. Number two, without him, no one gets to the Father. Number three, he is the Savior. Mm -hmm. He's the Savior. Number one, Jesus is the light of the world. Number two, no one goes to the Father except through him. And number three, he's the Savior. So at least about 23 times, 23 times or so, Jesus says, follow me, follow me, follow me. Because he knows the way to salvation. He knows the way to eternal life. So he says, follow me. Now, the question is, do you follow him? Are you following him? Are you following him? based on the instructions or the commands that, that he gave. Follow him. Couple people that Jesus said you should follow him. And uh, some did without question. Others had uh, some excuses. Which of them are you? Are you following him by the commandment he has given? Follow me. Or you are one of those who are just having all manner of things that you think you have to do before you follow him. Today you need to make up your mind. This is just a very short, brief moment I'm, I'm going to spend with you. you got to make up your mind. Follow Jesus. Jesus says follow him. He said that. One time Apostle Paul, I mean sorry, Peter, said to Jesus that we've been following you and all this one. What do we get? Well, we will get to it and see the answer Jesus gave to Peter. We'll get to it. But the same Peter, Jesus, prior to him coming to that place where he asked Jesus about that question, Jesus met him and his brother Andrew when Jesus was walking on the shores of Galilee. He saw them and he told them to follow him. 
he, Peter, and his brother. But the Bible said that they were mending their net. And when Jesus said that, they, they left what they were doing and they followed him. They left. Now, we don't know whether it was instantly or they listened to him and later on followed him. But they followed Jesus. Jesus says, you follow me and I'll make you a fishes of men. So they followed Jesus. Well, you might have heard that Jesus is calling you to follow him. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, you know what? I'm not ready for ministry yet. I'm not ready because, you know, this thing, is, it's a lot of work. And, and uh, you know, maybe I'm not called. You know, um, this person is called. He's supposed to be the pastor. And, uh, you know, I, you know, let me just stay in my corner. And, uh, you know, I'm a Christian. And, you know, I, I don't do... I don't, I don't like to be seen, you know, I don't like people, I'm shy to talk, you know, in public and all that. Beloved, Jesus never said that you should go and be a, a preacher other than tell people about him. He says, follow him. You follow him and let him show you how to go about things. Follow him. Jesus says, follow him. Peter and his brother followed him and they stuck with him until he departed from the earth. Today we hear stuff about Peter and his relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus is telling you and me to follow him. How prepared are we to adhere to that command? How prepared? Are we just acting like we are following him? Because you cannot follow him and not tell anybody about him. You know, the disciples, we know that they went about it telling everybody about Jesus. Mm -hmm. They did that. They weren't, they weren't telling about Jesus. They were not afraid. They were not shy. They were not, they were not hiding to tell about Jesus anymore. Why are you hiding and telling and not telling people about Jesus? And Jesus is saying you should follow him. Come with me to the book of Luke. I want you to see something here very important real quick. Luke chapter 9. Luke chapter 9. Look at the 57th down to the 62nd verse. Luke chapter 9, 57 to 62. Now it happens as they, as they journeyed on the road that someone said to Jesus, Lord, I will follow you wherever you go. Somebody said that to Jesus. He says, Lord, I will follow you wherever you go. I will follow you there. Then Jesus said this to that individual. Watch this very carefully. Jesus said this. Hope you send a shout of blessings to you. Jesus said this. He said, foxes have holes and birds of the air have nets. But the son of man has nowhere to lay his head. He told Jesus. He says, someone, we don't know who this person is. But this individual told Jesus that I want to follow you. And, um, it, you know, you wonder what, what did that person see to make that decision that I want to follow Jesus. But he said, I want to follow you. And Jesus told him that you want to follow me? Okay. I want you to know that it's not, don't just, don't just give me a lip service. But I want you to understand something. Foxes have holes and birds of the air have nets. But the son of man has nowhere to put his head. Are you still ready to follow me? Are you still ready to follow me? Think about that. Are you still ready to follow me? Verse 39. Then another person came. Another person. Another person. Then he said, Jesus said to another person, we don't know this person either. He says, then Jesus said to this person, follow me. 
<laughs> but this person said, Lord, let me first go and bury my father. Listen to what Jesus said to that individual. He says, let the dead bury their own dead, but you go and preach the kingdom, but you go and preach the kingdom of God. Let the dead bury their dead, but you go and preach the kingdom of God. You go. Jesus said to this one with excuse, with something that he has to do before he can come and talk about the gospel of salvation, the gospel of the kingdom. <laughs> Jesus says, let the dead bury the dead, but you go. You see, it is not about somebody. It's about you. It's about you. How ready are you for prime time? Oh, you know what? Uh, I got to do this and, uh, you know, let, let, let me pray about it. Can you believe? Let me pray. To pray about telling somebody about Jesus. You want to pray about it? You're not ready for prime time. It's as simple as that. Pray. First of all, who are you praying to? And what, do you, what, what are you saying? Oh, God, should I go and tell people um, about Jesus? Should I, you know, uh, is, is that a prayer? Is that, is that a kind of prayer? You want to religio, religios, re, re, make religion out of the simplicity of telling somebody about Jesus. Oh, it's somebody's job, but not yours. And you say you are what? A follower? Are you serious? Make up your mind. Jesus says, follow me. Are you ready? And it's a command. He did not suggest. Jesus did not suggest. He says, follow me. And if you know anything about order, especially in the military, you, you take orders. It's not a suggestion. Then another person said, another person said, in, look at verse 61. Another person said to Jesus, Lord, I will follow you, but let me first go and bid farewell who are at my house. I will follow you, but let me go and, and bid farewell. Let me just go and say to people that, you know what, I am I'm going to the, I'm going to, to the ministry. So, you know what? Listen to what Jesus says. He says, no one, no one, having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of God. No one. And so, so, so you either do it or you ain't part of it. You see, I mean, this unbelieving believers kind of attitude will not help you with anything where the kingdom of God is concerned. This guy also told Jesus, I want to follow you, but let me first go and bid farewell. Like, okay, let, let me go and tell my house, let everybody know that I'm going to follow Jesus. And so therefore, if you don't see me in this house, I'm following Jesus. <laughs> Jesus said to this person, he says, nobody, nobody. And, I, and, and I'm glad he said that, that nobody. Nobody means nobody. Who puts his hound, hand in the plow or start the, the journey and start looking back like, oh man, did, did I, you know, maybe I'm not, this. you are not ready. You're not ready for prime time. And that is where you know, that confusion comes in place. Because one, you, are, you, you think you are in, another, you are not sure and all that. And James says that a double-minded person cannot receive from God. A double-minded person. Beloved, it's not how we start though. It's how we finish. It's how we finish. Apostle Paul said, 
He says he, he fought a good fight and he ran a good race and he finished the race. He did. He did. Majority of the New Testament was, was written by him. By the decision of the commandment that he, re I mean the command he received. The commands he received and adhering to that command, he was able to be used. How much do you want God to use you? How much do you want God to, oh, God, he used me. God, he used me. But God is already asking you to do something and you have your own excuses. I'm not ready yet. I, I'm a shy person. Really? Just imagine Jesus is shy, so shy of you that he can, he can, he cannot die for you. He cannot think about that. He cannot pay the price of your sins. Just imagine that, that Jesus is so shy of you, as you say you shy of telling somebody about Jesus. You are so shy. You don't want nobody to know that you are a believer. You don't want nobody to know that you know. You know. I mean. How much telling people about Jesus is what you know of him. What do you know that he has done for you? And that's all you have to tell. And that's all you have to say. You don't need to go and try to emulate somebody by preaching. Try to be like somebody else. No. Be you and your relation. Let's tell everybody of your relationship with him and that's it today when you hear his voice don't harden your heart don't harden your heart give your life to jesus you know peter came to jesus now i want to take you to that matthew chapter 19 peter came to jesus one time and said jesus we've left all to follow you what do we have look at peter Look at Peter, Matthew chapter 19 and the 27 verse. Let's do this in real quick. Matthew 19 and 27 verse. Peter said to Jesus, he says, he says, we have left all and follow you. Therefore, what shall we have? Listen to what Jesus said to Peter. Jesus said to Peter, he said, I sure, I surely I said to you that in the generation when the son of man sits on the throne of his glory, you who are follow me will also sit on the 12 thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel. Get that revelation here. That's what Jesus said. And everyone who has left houses or brothers and sisters or fathers or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake shall receive a hundredfold and inheritance everlasting life. But many who are first will be last and the last will be first. It's not how you start, but it's how you finish. Listen to what Jesus said to Peter. And that's telling Peter about the reward of following him. But that's the reward of following him. Do you want to continue after hearing this to say, yes, I want to follow Jesus? Or oh, already you're making up your mind, man, this is too much for me. Think about the reward. Think about the reward at the end. Think about that reward. Give your life to Jesus. Receive him as your Lord and your Savior today. How do you do that? By re You believe in your heart. Bible says you believe in your heart and you make confession with your mouth, the Lord Jesus, that God raised him from the dead, you'll be saved. That's a prayer I want you and I to pray right now. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for this teaching and message. I understand by following you, the reward is eternal. I believe you in my heart. I am a sinner and I ask you to forgive me of my sin. I will never turn back. Come into my life. Be the Lord and Savior of my life. I believe you in my heart and I confess you with my mouth that God raised you from the dead. Now, Lord Jesus, baptize me with your spirit that I may fulfill the purposes for which I was born. And to be bold to tell the world about you. That you are the light. You are the savior. 
and no one goes to the Father except through you. I thank you for receiving me today. In Jesus, your name I pray. Amen. If you pray that prayer, that short prayer, Jesus said to Nicodemus, you must be born again. You are born again. There has been a spiritual rebirth and transformation. Now, I want you to make sure that you contact us in this ministry. If you do not have a Bible, we'll send you one free of charge. Our phone numbers, you can use this number, 914-572-9816. Or go to our, our website address and all information is there. You can also get to know a little bit about us. The address is www.patrick. Quainos, Q U A I N O O, Global Ministries. Dot o -R -G. Patrick Quainu, Global Ministries. Dot org. Follow us on YouTube, Patrick Quainu Ministries, and subscribe and uh, receive this teaching and more for your growth and understanding and increase. And I want you to know, as always, you don't have no trouble. All you need. Is your faith in God and in all thy getting, get understanding. I hope you've learned something and I look forward to coming your way in a very short, shortest possible time. Until then, enjoy your day, your year, your week, your month, and have a blessed one. Don't forget to share the broadcast and be a blessing to somebody else. God bless you.